Welcome to the Power of Small. Today we're going to be talking about small volume production success. Many of us have developed really neat and interesting ideas over the years. Some of these ideas, like revolutionary vacuum cleaners, might sell millions of units and big factories with big production costs are justifiable. But what about the little ideas that are important, that are meaningful, that can help change the world in small ways, but you only need 50 of them, or 100 of them, or 1,000 of them? What do you do? Well, a lot of people hoped that rapid prototyping was going to do it, that we could just get a rapid prototyping machine and make them. Unfortunately, most rapid prototyping technology just can't make products that are durable enough and strong enough or cosmetically nice enough to be real finished product goods. So what do we do? Well, what we did at Omicron Technologies is we developed a whole series of different plastics extrusion machines. So what's a plastics extruder? What it does is it can take raw plastic resin, recycled plastic waste, and convert it into finished goods. So it can extrude it into finished shapes. It can make things like this kind of siding material. And it can make that with a little die that would cost less than a thousand dollars. On a little piece of equipment that costs about thirteen thousand dollars. So very quickly you're able to get into production in extrusion. But you might say, but my parts are going to be bigger. That's fine. Large parts can be made as well without any difficulty. You're going to make this product at the rate of about 10 to 15 pounds an hour on a small machine that fits on a bench top and uses 120 volt power at 12 amps. You might have other shapes and sizes of parts you might want to make. You might be making blocks or something that would be within the shape and size of this block. Or you might need larger things. But whatever you need, there's a variety of different ways we can do it. One of the ways that we can do it, we can make very rapid aluminum tools, or we can also make these type of tools out of new composite materials, which make them even less expensive and simpler. And what we're able to do is, for instance, this is a sample part. This is the electronic screen bezel that allows you to mount a 10.1 inch screen into a product. Now, in this case, 50 to 100 parts per year are needed. They're about 6.5 by 10 inches by about half an inch thick. They weigh about 3.1 ounces each. Well, this mold was able to be made within five days from the day that the order was placed. The mold cost was 900 US dollars. And the parts that came off it were $15 each based on molding only 20 parts at a time. So literally for an order as small as $300 per order, the customer is able to get the volumes they need in the finished goods materials they need with very low cost tooling. And now you say to me, okay great, so this little machine I can either buy one and make them myself or plastic blocks can make them for me. Both of those plans can work. But what if I start with plastic blocks first? Well, easy. You own your tooling. If you want to put it on a machine that you buy from Omicron Technologies, you can do that and take the production. That would bring the cart cost down from about $15 down to about $1.50 of material. So it's possible to go there. And then you say, okay, that's great, but now I don't need 50 to 100 parts a year anymore. My business has grown. Now we need a thousand parts a year. What am I going to do? Well, easy. What you're going to do is take that same tool that you paid $900 for, and you're going to pay about another $3,500 and get an auto ejection system for it. And with an auto ejection system for it, on a machine that's going to be about $35,000, you're going to be able to now mold on an automated basis your parts, and those parts are going to cost you probably in the genre of 50 cents to a dollar. So now you're going to be able to mold them automatically. You're going to load the hopper with plastic. You're going to turn it on. 
You're going to stay there while the first two or three parts are made to make sure everything's working well and you're going to walk away. And then you're going to be able to remotely monitor it and whenever the plastic levels get low, maybe every two, three hours, you're going to go and fill up the hopper. You're going to take away your finished goods, you're going to slide them back in and all of this can literally fit in your garage. It can run on 220 volts, single phase, 40 amps basically the same amount of power roughly as your clothes dryer takes so if you've got an electric clothes dryer that's using the same amount of power if you've got a welding plug a 40 amp welding plug in your garage you're already all set you just plug the equipment in and away you go if you've got the equivalent of a basically one car garage available you could be making your own ideas you could make your products tomorrow and in the interim Omicron Plastics could help you by making those first parts and getting you off the ground. Whether you need huge parts, 12, 24 inch diameter, 36 inch diameter, whether you need precise medical parts, whether you want tubing, whether you want blocks or rods, with the Omicron Plastics molding technology, we can take your ideas into a finished product.